Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 5D. We are going to solve this rational equation. We begin by factoring each denominator and thereby determining the least common denominator. Only the denominator in this first fraction can be factored. We now rewrite this equation with the factor denominator. The least common denominator is composed of the different factors, n plus 3 times n minus 1. In an equation, we can multiply each fraction on both sides of the equal sign by that least common denominator. Then, in each fraction, we divide out factors that match in the numerator and the denominator. Those divide to 1, as do these. And on the left side of the equal sign, we have n plus 1. In this fraction, n plus 3 divides out n plus 3. We are left with n times n minus 1. In the last fraction, n minus 1 divides to 1 with n minus 1, and we are left with minus 1 times n plus 3. Let's expand and clean this up. Negative 1 times n is negative n. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Cleaning up the right side of the equal sign first, we recognize that we have a quadratic equation. To solve a quadratic equation, set it equal to zero. I would subtract n from both sides. I would subtract 1 from both sides. Bring down your equal sign before you do anything else. On the left hand side, n minus n is zero, 1 minus 1 is zero, we have zero. On the right hand side we have n squared, minus 3n, minus 4. This factors as n minus 4 times n plus 1. Setting n minus 4 equal to 0, we get n equals 4. Setting n plus 1 equal to 0, we get n equals negative 1. We look back at our original problem. What values of n will make the denominator 0 and thus the equation involving an undefined fraction? Negative 3 would make this fraction have a 0 denominator and this one as well. Did we get negative 3 as a solution? No. Positive 1 would make this fraction have a 0 denominator and this fraction also. We did not get n equals 1 as a solution. Therefore these two solutions indeed are these solutions.